What is going on, guys? It's Taylor. And it's your boy, Dre. Welcome back to our review of another movie we watched. Um, Dre, what are you watching this time? What are you We're watching Resident Evil Dead Island, which is, Death I want to say, the seventh technical CG movie franchise of uh, Resident Evil, the game. And may I, may I start with this? <laughs> the, the question on all of our, all, all of our minds. Why? Let me start off with saying I actually enjoy these, um, I guess we should call it now, the Resident Evil Cinematic Universe, right? Yeah. Uh, because there's this really weird universe that comes out of Resident Evil that, okay, let's start it off. There's this really weird thing that has to, happens with these movies, because I actually watched them all. I've seen them all, right? It's all right, yeah. Um, the movies expect you have seen, not only seen the previous movies, but played the previous games. Yeah. Because they, they make some callbacks and stuff. It's like, wait, who's Pierce? Yep. Like, I don't even remember. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, she was brainwashed. That was like 12, 10 years ago. Like, timeline-wise, lore-wise, we get like, maybe it was just a year before. Mm -hmm. But if you just don't remember, or you haven't played Resident Evil 5 in like yeah. 10 years, you're kind of like, wait, what happened? <laughs> it It's a lot of that. Um Dead Island's a terrible name too. Res Resident Evil Dead Island is literally one of the, or, or sorry, Dead Island is li literally a competing franchise to yeah. Resident Evil, or Death Island. I thought it was called Dead Island this Dead whole Island. time. Either way, it's still just a terrible name. They and and it, well, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. They could have came up with anything. Uh, I, we get it, but like, I don't know. It's so it's too close to Dead Island, which is a Resident Evil like another, another game. zombie game. <laughs> so out there, they should have came up with something better. Um... And to top it all, and this is my I mean, major. Can we just throw out the major complaints first? Right. There's some I've been watching these for a while, and back like ten years ago, twenty years ago when they first started coming out, they didn't look that great. But they look good enough. Mm -hmm. It feels like only partially these movies look good. Like the main characters, they put a lot of effort into making Leon, Jill, uh, Chris Redfield, Claire. Claire Redfield, and Rebecca. They put a lot of effort in making them look good. The rest yeah. of people look like these stiff NPCs. Like they just look so. Like they, just, they didn't get to hit the budget that every other got, so they just look so like CG, like video game CGI. Yeah. Like, and then they just always get rid. Of, so yeah. it, it's it's like this front. Like I expected it to look way because like we watch or say I play games like uh, Mortal Kombat, and all those cinematics are always on point, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm always like, that would be cool if it was a whole movie. And then you see this, and it's like okay. Clearly, they put some effort here, and, and sometimes they didn't. So it's it, it almost ultimately it looks like a CGI. It looks like a video. So it looks like a cinematic in a video game. It doesn't look to the point. This would not be ready for theater release. It looks so. Some parts just looks really bad. Yeah. And uh, okay, I, I'm gonna <laughs> pause to let you talk, and I'm gonna rant some more in a little bit. No worries. So yeah. So my my, my why was initially. Um. So I I Dre. I watch all the movies too. I enjoy the games. I enjoy the movies. I know they're more say you know the story going on and you know callbacks and so forth, but always I I, I don't understand. It's just another story just to tell a story. Is it more <laughs> of like if they can't do comics, they so they do these mini movies where they have so yeah. By the way, more bioterrorism is going on. So more here, viruses going on in here. So okay. here's my theory. I came up with this last night and on exactly that same exact question. Yeah. Right? Like so, the very first big movie, which was Degeneration, I think that was like the purpose of that was to be a movie, like tell a story. Yeah, I think this one. So then it was De Degeneration, Damnation. Those felt like they started as movies and became movies. It was on Netflix. Yeah. Mm, on Netflix. I think they are. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Like this one didn't feel that way. It felt like there was a game attached to this, and, and they, like they, they, the way they. And this is his all tinfoil hat theory. Yeah. The way they pitch the game is they, they make the cinematics first and like this is what it could be. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, let's just make it into a movie. Right? So it yeah. feels like this was proposed as a game, Resident Evil, like trapped in Alcatraz. Yeah. And then you have to escape the island, like make it like, like a spinoff. And they just didn't, the Sony didn't see the value in making that into its own game. Yeah. Especially after the, the series itself has kind of branched off into this whole like, Castlevania. I haven't seen Resident Evil. I haven't played Resident Evil seven or eight, so I can't really one hundred percent tell you where they go. But gotcha. it went in this very like kind of cha Texas chain. Resident Evil seven felt like Texas Chainsaw Massacre to me, and Resident Evil eight looks like a haunted mansion. It look, it might not be that at all. It's just what they look like on when I see the trailers. I haven't watched gameplay. I really want to experience it for the first time. Yeah, I really wanted to experience it in VR, but it seems like that's never gonna happen. So I just gotta yeah. play the damn game. Um, I lean enough. I own Resident Evil seven and eight. Um, 
but it feels like this was supposed to be like a kind of spinoff okay. game that just did not get approved. So they just like, but they had the cinematics there for it, so they just made it into a movie. Yeah, that's my theory. Death Island is really just Alcatraz, and for some reason, and, and like I, I didn't really understand the the point where this former U Umbrella officer he yeah. had to shoot his friend. It's super PTSD because he is constantly trying to kill himself yeah. and like and tapping like tapping his cane. I'm like, what the cane now? It's not like, oh yeah, it's it's because like because he had smashed his head in yeah. thing. But I didn't get that either. Like, what was this whole like? At some point, he could have killed himself. Like, I get that. Like, you get that he's edgy and he's never actually gonna shoot himself. But where did he get end. all this money and power from? All yeah. of a sudden, like he be, he just he he became like he was from a a, a, res, a a soldier who survived who was told to kill his friend because he got bit. Then now he is. He has a, he I'm has so a confused. Virus in the internet, like, it's like, how did they know? Like, oh, correction, you have to kill everybody. Like, how did they? Like, he could have been like, oh yeah, we're all good. Like, no, he, like he, like they knew he, his friend was bit. He like, told him he's all my friend. He's all I have one. One my officer is. Oh, bit, did is he bit. say that? Yeah, he says oh, okay, okay. He's I, like, he's maybe I missed him. that part. But it was like I got the part he had to kill him, right? But yeah, yeah. the whole like edgy i'm gonna point this gun to my head and almost kill myself it was kind of annoying because like what if he actually killed himself right? obviously you get that he's never going to yeah as an audience but it's just like why go through all this rigmarole if you're gonna keep putting a gun to your head and pulling the trigger at one some point you've just wasted all your time yeah with this evil plot just to kill yourself like, all, the, all the all the all to do some nanobots yeah, to his, take over he, to do so he, I, he he wasn't a good villain he like no. his story was i'm i'm really 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 mad yeah, it's like Maddie, his whole story. And Maddie made me kill my friend. Yeah. And then now I'm going to kill the whole world because... Like, I get it. Like, oh, I it. was just abused. Like, they just kind of threw me away like a piece of trash. I get it. But that is like... As a result, I'm going to kill everybody on the planet. That's like... That's, it doesn't work. Like, if he... It was so weird. It, it was. I, I was... I was... I was hell bent on waiting for Wesker to pop up and be like, okay, I'm the main villain. Because, yeah. again, there's no way... I, I There's no way this, this gentleman could have fully backed all this. I'm hitting the microphone. Sorry fully backed all of this himself yeah and know? then like yeah he like when they finally were fighting he had like whole army base downstairs it's yeah. like what did he get all this build this a plasma rifle like eight they found like eight rocket launchers down there and that was very gamey that was like yeah you yeah. fight in the game he's always the last boss like oh hey like when they're they and were, then there was annoying too because like in almost every one of these games and movies the last boss the final villain combines himself with the last boss yeah. at least that's the the ongoing that's like a, it's an mo literally last trend like the dude combines himself with the dad that's maria's dad mm -hmm. uh, and, and then um what other one does that and the generation they do that too either, or the guy actually think he, i don't think he combines i think he just shoots himself and eventually turns either way they just keep repeating this trend like i'm the final boss mm -hmm. i inject myself and then i merge with the big bad did you Dunst. see you probably didn't miss I, I i saw i'm not sure if you saw it so Initially, when they're taking the right Alcatraz in the, in the end of the movie, there's a big shadow in the in the water. Yeah, the shark. The shark. Thing. Okay, they never addressed that. They never brought it back. No, that's what the thing was. The I know. Thing. I know. I know. They they brought it. They that's what like that's what killed. That's what killed that animal. And they said that's a big bite. No, no, no that's what he combined with. Okay. The very, when he shot himself in the uh -huh. head with finally with the. the and man. then the shark ate him. That's and right. Okay. Low, yeah, that was the thing. Okay. The mystery, which was also weird, because like, why did it come back? At, it's just too. It, it, Convenient. This, this yeah this movie felt like like i said it, it really felt like a video game turned movie like it just didn't like everything worked out the way exactly a game would work out maybe because the writers just make games so they just did that yeah and the very end when they found the, rocker, the rocket launcher oh here's the rocket launcher I'm yeah like, oh, well, it's, just, it's, it's always a rocket launcher <laughs> and it was annoying too because they had like shot eight rocket launchers <laughs> at that point like hey let's try this other rocket launcher it's like what was that any different do? than the other ones <laughs> and it, oh, they, this I have so many complaints about this. Again, and I do find these movies enjoyable. I'm glad they make them, but this one just felt so, um, they like they handed it, right? Um, you, you know what we, we do? We, we enjoy them. We want to watch them because we want to say that, we want to, we want us to think in our minds that this one's going to be better. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be better this time. It will be better. It'll be a fun story. It'll be good writing. And it'll make sense. It'll make me want to maybe may play a game or something. So that, again, I like Degeneration. Um, was the one with the plane crash in the very beginning. I like Damnation, like that war in like Russia or somewhere, and that <laughs> that mm -hmm. one president chick was kicking out other girls' ass. <laughs> it was Ada, right? Like yeah. he was like, you didn't think she could fight? Like no, she's the best fighter there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you think I need this, these soldiers? No, he said these guys are just for show. <laughs> um, Vendetta was kind of stupid. 
I, I just thought it was this dude his wife got killed i can understand these but like he kept her arm was gonna reattach it to the other girl it's like this is just a weird <laughs> uh bad guy plot and then this one just i haven't finished infinite darkness but this is not um and it's weird i, I had to look it up to the timeline of how all these things fit together it's like yeah it's confusing either way what they really need first of all what they really need in this movie is a previously in all the video games in the movie like they need to tell you what you need to know because i don't remember who Pier- i can't remember if pierce is the one on the movies or if he's the dude that died in resident evil 6 mm-hmm. um because he wasn't pierce in resident evil 1 pierce okay, no, i don't remember i genuinely no, don't no it was in resident evil 2 he says he'd be a jill sandwich is that what that or no i thought that was I, Brought Bruce, Bruce. Or, anyway, I, I don't remember, right? Yeah. Um, there's so many characters in Resident Evil universe. If you're gonna make a movie and you're gonna uh, reference a character, that a game that came out like ten years ago, you should be like previously. Yeah. In the lore, because he, because at some point, uh, Chris is like, yeah, my uh, my buddy Pierce. I was expecting him to be my next command. I was like, was Pierce in Resident Evil Six? Was he <laughs> Resident Evil Four? I don't remember yeah. who Pierce is. I get that. You know, he explains his relationship, but I'm sh- there. Obviously, there's more there. I mean, the whole uh, Jill brainwashing thing is for Resident Evil. I want to say it's five, right? Mm-hmm. When they five, no, wait, maybe it's four. Five when they're in, no, no, I think it's four, huh? When you fight the four is when they're in, four is with Leon, and he goes to face the prince, president's daughter. On but the you island. fight Jill at the end, and she has a little thing on her chest. See, I don't even yeah. remember. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't remember if it's five or four. And like, so it's just the whole like, yeah, they need to like. I, only thing I do remember is Maria because I probably recently watched that movie, mm-hmm. and like her dad dies, and that was like the most recent movie. But it's just like there's a lot going on there, and we're that, and yeah. yeah. <sighs> Give us a reference guide, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you need it. You really yeah. do need it. And then at the end, like yeah, except they, this, the game had the movie has such ragdoll effects. It's like it just feels like a Bollywood like Resident Evil film. And again, I actually enjoy that they had this whole. Resident Evil cinematic universe mixed with the games and like they tie into each other, but it just doesn't feel like it really ties into each other again. You have to have watched all the movies to understand this movie, but if you play the games and never seen a movie, you're not so, missing anything. So what if on the DVD there's an extra, right? A little bonus, little like a twenty minute film or so forth, where it goes to all the scenarios that you need to you need to remember or kind of like a refresher. Like maybe maybe you don't have them. Like it doesn't say like the game or whatever. It'll say like. 96 or so 2000 whatever and it have like it'll have, a, it'll have a, an animated version of what you saw in the game that'd be great too and um final fantasy 16 does this thing where like when they're telling stuff you can hit the uh what do you call it the playstation thing uh-huh. and it has this thing it says is in this scene this is what they're referencing oh like if you oh x like x-ray from amazon yeah x-ray from amazon, exactly yeah. they need something like that uh they for everything basically they should start doing that but yeah. like for this specifically because they, they will talk about stuff that if you don't know then you just don't know and yes. then yeah and look see then dylan doesn't even have a last name that's how bad he's like <laughs> how undeveloped as a character he was his name is just dylan dylan uh he didn't have any really back it doesn't like him as a villain like i get it, your friend died but it doesn't seem that you, you can't be that pissed off get over it buddy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, you know what? I'm going to kill the entire world now. It, With nanobots. There was so much missing there. Like, it just felt like, like it felt like a uh, side story or, that was supposed to be a game. It just, like, ah, uh, this just turned into a movie. I don't know. It, it like I said, I did enjoy it <laughs> to the point. I just don't think it's good. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's where I'm at with it. Would I say watch it? Yeah, sure. If you love those Resident Evil cinematics. Like, I've probably, uh, to date, I think I've seen... Granted, I haven't played the last two games. Yeah. Um, I've probably seen all of them in terms of movies, CG movies, games. I even watched a channel that where he, he puts them all together in like a lore and just like I watch those because it's enjoyable. I really do enjoy this universe. But these games are just kind of, there's movies games just no kind of ragdoll, Bollywood. It's just kind of, you know, like the very beginning they do like the, uh, the, the bad boys freeway scene <laughs> yeah just, and it almost like it almost reached the points of matrix where she does this back flip slow motion land on top of the bike hit the mm-hmm. brake it's like oh come on come on come on come on all right we're taking it too far now it's just okay. come on man stars yeah. that's it they train them that way stars. that's right so yeah so it's um and then he flies off the bike and just rolls it off just look just, 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 just walking off that's right. <laughs> like, Death shoulders off he did fly out there but like, he was going like 100 miles an hour and no helmet either. All right. 
I, 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 let me breathe. Okay. So that was uh, our very reviewish or ranty, ranty review. <laughs> you got to call this Resident Evil rant. Resident Evil rant. Uh, uh, Death Island, or a.k.a. Alcatraz, The Rock. Look, it, I, think, like, I think Resident Evil Alcatraz would have been a better name than Death Island, honestly, because the IP, Dead Island, but, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we're trying to get those people over there. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, that was our review. Uh, Dre, after you you rant and you take your breath, <laughs> what should the uh, what should our audience be do? Be sure to check out uh, check out everything else that we have. And be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps the channel. It helps us uh, continue to do this. And, yeah, I, I don't have much else on it. Now, Look for more rants on our channel here for other <laughs> movies that we'll probably be reviews pretty soon. And I know, guys, we shall see you later. Peace.